In this example, we're given a histogram that shows the number of people admitted to an emergency room during a 24-hour period. The histogram tells us that between 12 a.m. and 3.59 a.m., 16 people were admitted to the emergency room. Between 4 a.m. and 7.59 a.m., 9 people were admitted. Between 8 a.m. and 11.59 a.m., 8 people were admitted. Between 12 p.m. and 3.59 p.m., 8 people were admitted. Between 4 p.m. and 7.59 p.m., 12 people were admitted. And between 8 p.m. and 11.59 p.m., 20 people were admitted. Notice that unlike a bar graph, a histogram has no spaces between the bars because the time intervals on the horizontal axis are continuous. And it's important to understand that we must use equal time intervals throughout. In this case, we use four-hour time intervals. Now, in Part A, we're asked, during which time intervals were more than 10 people admitted? We can see that more than 10 people were admitted between 12 a.m. and 3.59 a.m., between 4 p.m. and 7.59 p.m., and between 8 p.m. and 11.59 p.m. In Part B, we're asked, what is the range of the classes? Classes is another word for intervals. So what is the range of the classes means the same thing as how big is each interval. We can see that each interval is four hours long. So the range of the classes is four hours. Notice that this histogram is U-shaped which suggests that emergency room visits tend to be more common at night than during the day.